RJ, don't play, okay. Yeah. RJ, yeah. RJ, RJ, the best all around, yeah. can't question it. Yeah. RJ Bills finna flex a bit. Yeah. Black on biz, better get the first dance. Yeah. When it come yeah. to your computer, yeah. we the best in it. Yeah. A dude with his wife got the game on lock. We can fix it up, ain't gotta pay a lot. Nope. If it go boom, crash, don't, don't lose your hope. Yeah. Call RJ Bills, we got you, bro. Yeah. Bill maintain and repair. Yeah. Trust in us, cause we hello guys welcome back to my video today we are going to be building a computer from start to finish that means building the computer downloading necessary drivers launchers all that all right so there's seven components well main components to a computer and that's the cpu the brain of the computer <laughs> i fucking love that guy um link to his channel in the description the gpu the ram the storage, the motherboard, power supply, and of course the tower, cause what well, you gonna put all the parts into, right? So, all right, let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you wanna take your CPU here. This is the Ryzen 7 3800X. What you wanna do is you want to pull up the lever that is right there on the AM4 socket. Make sure it's pointing up towards you. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the golden corner at the bottom left, of the letters are facing the same notch that it's on the socket so it'll be on the top left hand side of the socket all you have to do is just safely place it in give it a little wiggle and lock it in place all right so what we're gonna be doing next we're gonna be installing our ram so i want you to find your a2 and b2 slots on your motherboard i'll put a little graphic up here on the screen for you we have two dims at 16 gigabytes it's uh, from t-force and it's at 3200 megahertz for installation, all you have to do is just press down firmly until you hear a click and you'll be good to go. Okay, so here I'm going to be installing the M.2 SSD. All you really have to do is unscrew the standoff screw and then um, follow the notch for the SSD. Uh, slot it in, screw it back in and it's installed. Very easy. And I'll zoom in for this one, it's just me applying thermal paste. It's very to the point. Just apply a pea-sized amount of thermal paste onto the um, IHS, which is also translated to internal heat spreader, and you're good to go. And now for AMD, this is just the cooler that comes with the CPU. It comes with two hooks, and as long as you already have the little brackets right here installed, all you have to do is start with the bottom, hook it up, and then just hook the top and lock it in place. Oh, and also plug in the fan, duh. So right here, I'm just uh, screwing out the uh, hard drive cage for the case so that I can install the hard drive. It's very simple. Once I'm done doing that, I'll install the power supply right ahead of time and screw it into the cage so I don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, and next what we'll be doing is I'm just going to uh, lead some of the case cables into the actual motherboard cage so that um, wire management is going to be no biggie. Don't get nobody. I'll also be doing this with the power supply cables. I'm going to be screwing out the fans since I'll be placing them in a different place anyways, and it'll also make uh, installing the motherboard a much easier task to do. All right, before you put in your motherboard, of course, do not forget to put in your IO shield. It can be a little annoying to install because when you push one end, the other end comes out and you just want to slap the crap out of it, but make sure that it's in there firmly. Now, before I install the motherboard, I'm gonna make sure to install the front IO which is the USB, the front panel connections, and the audio. Um, really cool thing about the NZXT case is that you don't have to play guessing games. Um, you just plug it straight in. Now to install your motherboard, all you simply have to do is just line it up with the standoffs and also line up with the IO shield and then just, you know, slide it right in. What you see me doing here is I'm just plugging in the CPU power beforehand so I don't have to do it later, especially when I plug the fan in and it just makes it just way too hard to deal with. Now with the motherboard installed, all you're going to see me do 
is uh, plug in the USB 3.0 cable, uh, SATA cable for the hard drive, and the motherboard power. And then once I'm done doing that, I screw it in to secure it in place and the motherboard's completely installed. Now we're going to do everyone's favorite part, installing the graphics card. So what we're going to do is going to screw out the little side panel right here, um, make space. It's going to be usually the second and third slot for the graphics card, right? Um, what we're simply going to do is just slot in the graphics card into the PCIe lane, which will be the first one at the very top, and then screw it in. And then all we have left to do here is to plug in the PCIe connections to the graphics card. Please make sure that when you plug it in, you plug it into the necessary uh, pin connections. Some of them come in four, some of them come in eight, but you know, you know use your common sense. Just uh, admiring my fabulous cable management. And let's get to the overview of the computer. Woo! Nah, I know y'all like that. I know y'all like that. Let's turn the lights on. And now let's get into installing things onto the computer. Okay, so when you first go to the desktop, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to download Brave Browser. Reason for this is because it's way faster than Chrome and way much more private than Firefox. And once you're done downloading that, next thing I want you to download is GeForce Experience. This is how you're going to update your graphics card drivers if you're with NVIDIA and if you're using AMD, you know, they have the adrenaline uh, driver updates for that GPU. And next thing I want you to do is download 7-Zip. This is how you're going to unzip a whole bunch of zipped files from um, different websites. Like when I download MSI Afterburner or when I download the drivers for the motherboard. Hehe. <laughs> now the launches are going to be downloaded today are Steam, Epic Games, Uplay, and Blizzard. Um, don't really need to tell you what games are in each one of them. I'm pretty sure you know by now. And if you don't, you can go figure out. Now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to download the drivers for the motherboard. Uh, what you simply do is you type in the name of the motherboard. This one's the X570 Gaming Plus, I believe, from MSI. So you just type that into Google, go onto the website. You look for the support page, it says support, and then you download the few drivers. We're doing this in one shot, I don't give a shit. Um, you download the drivers, and they will be in these zipped folders, and that's why we have 7-Zip. All right, and after that, uh, we're going to download NVIDIA Broadcast. This mostly works for the RTX lineup of NVIDIA GPUs. But I'm pretty sure I have to go back and check, of course, and see if it works on the GTX lineup. I know that they can use um, RTX voice, but we're going to be downloading this today simply because uh, this is going to be a streaming computer for one of my clients. And uh, while I was talking, you saw me download Discord, and that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, every gamer needs Discord until Microsoft buys this entire <laughs> OBS. OBS is needed for us to actually stream on this computer so um there are other ways to stream but this is the main way um especially if you want to stream to places like uh twitch youtube and facebook so after downloading everything we're going to download msi afterburner see this is a monitoring software that shows you uh statistics like fps the amount of megahertz that's being used on your graphics card the amount of vram that's being used the total complete uses of your CPU and GPU, the temperatures, all of that good stuff for recording for YouTube. And if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I set mine up, please do let me know. Um, I can get that done for you pronto, so just let me know. 
And there's two last things I want you to know is that uh, make sure that your Windows is updated to the most current version of Windows. Yes, sometimes they're broken, but they're updates for a reason, of course. And also, um, once you're done downloading the chipset drivers for AMD because it's an AMD CPU, what you want to do is you want to go to System and Power Settings and set the power limiter to as max as possible. We're trying to max out the performance on this uh, PC here. And also, if you get annoyed that whenever you open your computer or turn on your computer, that things just automatically open, what you want to do is you want to go to apps and you want to go to uh, startup and then it'll show you a list of um, applications that will automatically start up once you, you know, start up your computer. So, you know, the obvious thing is to uh, know which ones you actually do and do not want to start up when you first open your computer. So there you go. You're welcome. And now for all the time we've all been waiting for, let's play some games. Yep. 
Downstairs, downstairs. First of all, I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by, especially if you watch the entire video. It really does mean a lot to me. I did put a lot of work into this. Um, I have a whole bunch of different videos coming down the road and stuff like that. Just, you know, stick it through with me. We're on a road to a thousand subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.